hi friends so in this blog I am taking my last video to the next level in my last video we had learnt about uh, using for each file container and how we can load uh, text, fi uh, text files into uh, a, a table uh, load the data from the text file into a table in, in SQL server now what I am attempting here is I am trying to load the data from uh, various formats or by, by which I mean I'm trying to load data from a text file and the Excel sources into a, a, a same uniform destination SQL Server table so what I have here in this demo is I am going to uh, I'm uh, I'm having four files two text files and two Excel files the text file one looks something like this it has the employee ID uh, 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 employee data for two employees uh, and then I have a subdirectory which has another uh, file which has employee data for, for two uh, employees and then I have got two excel sheets uh, in this format and they also have employee data one records each uh, in, in both of uh, them so we will be trying to uh, load all these four files uh, into a destination single a single destination table so if this is your uh, excel file uh, one uh, which is with the name of emp underscore file three dot xls and then we have another excel which has uh, again one more record uh, for employee details with the name of emp underscore file four uh, dot xls so all all the four files have six records in total two each on in the text files and one each in the xls this is uh, and we are trying to load this into a table uh, employee table in sql server this is uh, this is our table and we'll be loading the data into this uh, uh, using ssis so let's just try to see uh, what sort of uh, ssis we would need to develop to be able to do so uh, so this is the S uh, ssis package that i'll be uh, walking you through to begin with what I have here is let's go to the variables first uh, I have declared four variables I have added uh, a variable var flag and, and then I have actually uh, the var root folder uh, archive path I mean once the data once um, our records uh, sorry the files are processed we uh, uh, intend to archive them at this uh, at this path so we have uh, mentioned or specified that uh, archive path and then we have uh, the var file path which is uh, initialized to anything i mean it could be anything so uh, now these are the four uh, variables that we are trying to work with uh, now let's go back uh, uh, and start looking at what we have in the ssis package first we are working with xls the important uh, thing is to remember uh, go to the properties and disable your 64 bit runtime mode if you are using because you are using an xls it will uh, excel file you're working with xls it will it will be able to work only with the 32 bit runtime mode remember that once we have done that now let's go to the for each file loop enumerator we have the collection defined as emp underscore file and saying star and, and dot star extension so it could be a text file and uh, or a xls file by which uh, we mean and we are going to retrieve in the in the variable mapping the fully qualified path and also we have checked uh, the transfers subfolders because we have a file uh, if you look at the employee we have a subfolder which is having one of the text files so we have enabled that as well uh, and and uh, the folder uh, this folder is actually dynamically being loaded from uh, var root folder variable which is uh, mapping to the directory from where uh, our files will be loaded from so this is the landing folder or the landing directory from where uh, are, are these all the employee underscore files are, are kept so in short this is your uh, landing folder or, or the root folder directory so uh, that is our collection tab for us next we move on to the variable mapping we have mapped uh, the complete path the full fully qualified path to uh, user var uh, user defined variable var file path and uh, if you look at variable once again you will see uh, the root folder being 
assigned the value of uh, uh, as I had specified the EMP landing hold uh, that's your for each loop inside the loop I have actually created extract uh, a script task what does script task do is it's, it's going to flag I have a, a read write variable assigned to flag and a read a read only variable of var file path let's see what we have in the script so in the script uh, we would be trying to retrieve the extension value if it is a dot txt file or if it is if it is a dot xls uh, file we we are just trying to retrieve the extension type of the of the file that we are working with so if you look at in the script I have uh, declared the string. Uh, uh, I'm retrieving the full uh, variable path and uh, at the runtime, and then I'm extracting the four characters uh, from uh, the var file path variable. And uh, I'm trying to come this mapping to dot txt. I assign a flag value of zero, and if it is mapping uh, to uh, uh, xls value dot xls value, I'm assigning a value of one that's all that we have we have in the script task for you let's uh, move on to the next task and uh, remember the entire content uh, for the script task and, and, and all the corresponding tasks that we have uh, since it is being loaded uh, loaded at the at the runtime remember to set one property that is delay validation to true even for your extract file script task also uh, and then I have I'm using the precedence uh, uh, constraint if you look at I have actually e enabled the expression and constraint with uh, var flag to be zero only if it is zero conditionally uh, we will move ahead and, and then use the DFT to load the text file and if it is one uh, we will if it uh, in case it is one we will go ahead and uh, load the excel file that's all we have so uh, in the DFT also not to mention we have a delay validation to true and if we go down if we drill down we have a flat file source and a flat uh, and a OLEDB destination uh, the connection manager for the flat file is actually of uh, the type we are, we are getting the value from var file path the connection string the complete dot txt, txt string is, is being uh, picked up from this uh, variable which is uh, the collection in the which is collection in the in the for each file loop container if you look at um, in the variable is being collected uh, right so in the in the load dft load excel also if you look at uh, this is the excel source uh, in the excel connection manager also in the expression if you look at uh, the excel file path is being it is not the connection manager it is the excel file path is also being uh, loaded from the var file path remember there is another property which is delay validation put it to true and secondly in the excel source you have to validate ex uh, set the validate external metadata to false because it will be uh, it should not validate pre execution i mean ideally your excel is is, is validated before uh, being loaded into uh, before this SSIS package runs so we need to put it to false because it is being uh, loaded at the runtime at and dynamically so these are the properties that you need to uh, put it to false uh, for Excel the other point that I need to make here is the Excel uh, as uh, has a non unicoded data so for all the varchar data types we have to uh, put a data conversion so we have used uh, the e name and the department these are the two columns the salary and the eid of, are of the int types the other two columns e name and department are of uh, uh, varchar types so we need to put a, a data conversion task to convert uh, the non unicoded uh, data to unicoded data so 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 um, that is something you need to uh, sorry the unicoded data to the non unicoded data uh, so that we are able to load the data so that's uh, an important part and destination is is again we are using the same destination we are mapping it to the EMP table uh, here also if you look at the destination is being mapped at the em employee table and last but not the least uh, both of them uh, we are using logical all or constraint and here also remember to use logical or constraint uh, in all of the scenarios 
and uh, we are finally archiving all the path uh, sorry all the uh, files that we have uh, from the archive uh, to the archive path we are moving this file we are using the operation move file and we are moving the file from the var file path to uh, archive path in this scenario also uh, remember to delay validation i mean set the property of delay validation to true so that's all uh, we have here in this ssis package and we are we will be loading the data from uh, text and the excel finally into the same table so currently if you look at the table we do not have any records and we are trying to load these four files of different types uh, i mean one is of excel and the other is of text into this uh, table and then finally archive uh, our, our, our files that we have actually uh, processed let's start running this ssis package that we have developed right so uh, as you can see the uh, ssis package is run and we have been able to load uh, the files uh, now all the files from the employee and the subfolder have been moved to the archive so these are the four files which have been processed and the data that got processed let's just try to take a look at the data we should be having six records so we get six records these are uh, these records are from the uh, uh, are from the text files and, and these one each are from the excel files so as you can see what we have done and, and, and achieved here in this ssis package and, and in, in this session is we have loaded data from different formats uh, uh, files with a simple script task where we have actually segregated the flow and uh, specified a different flow using different dfts and, and trying to load the data the, the only important property which i have emphasized is uh, since it is an excel do remember to use 32 bit runtime mode and secondly throughout your ssis package always delay your validation and also validate uh, set your validate external metadata to false which are the important properties that you need to set so that you are able to dynamically load the entire thing from a various uh, from a, uh, different uh, platforms into the single table i hope uh, this will be uh, uh, this will enable you uh, to achieve this uh, functionality uh, in a simpler manner. Thank you friends.